A really common thing you have to do with fractions is write one amount as a fraction of another. In this case, you're asked to write 50p as a fraction of £2.50. I'll show you two different methods of doing this. First of all, you can use the bar method. So, you're going to need to draw yourself a bar. And this is your hole, and the whole thing is going to be worth £2.50. £2.50. And you want to see how many times 50p goes into that. Well, if I count up in 50p's, it'll take me five times to get up to £2.50. So that mark is 50p, so that is one fifth of £2.50. The other method you can use to do this is write it straight as a fraction. Now you could write 50p over £2.50, but the problem here is you've got different units. You've got pounds and pence, and that's never going to be a good idea. It's going to end badly for you. So you're better off making it all the same. I recommend making it all to pence, in which case you're going to have 50 pence over 250 pence. You can now simplify this. You can maybe divide both by 10, because you can see they're both in the 10 times table. So 50 over £2.50 is equivalent to 5 over 25, and they're both in the 5 times table. So if you divide the numerator and denominator by 5, you get 1 fifth. Alternatively, you could have looked at 50 and 250 and seen that their largest common factor was 50, and divide them straight away by 50 to get one fifth. It doesn't really matter which way you do, you find a way that works for you. Regardless of your method, you will end up with a fifth. So if someone says what fraction of £2.50 is 50p, the answer is 50p is a fifth, one fifth of £2.50. So you try these methods, have a go at the exercises. To make it clear, we want to simplify them wherever possible. This is good for you to practice those equivalent fractions, simplifying your answers where possible. And remember, it's always possible whenever the numbers are not co-prime. That is, it's always possible when the two numbers have a common factor.